In this video, I'm reviewing the best two GoPro accessories for filming point of view horse riding and other horse activities. You can get great footage like this, so let's get into it. The first accessory is the helmet mount. So this is it on my helmet and it, it's elastic, so it's really easy. You can just slide it on. Uh, you can start either with the part of it that's going over your helmet or you can start putting it on this way. You're just gonna be maneuvering the straps around, which are elastic. They're all, it's all elastic, so it all adjusts. And uh, getting it to where you want it, you can probably have to move it around a little bit, snug it to where you need it. It has adjustments for circumference here. It has a buckle or adjustment up here so you can adjust the size that's going over your helmet so you have a lot of adjustments the surface that grips it to the helmet has this li little rubbery texture surface here so that is the side that is going to the helmet and connect and holding it there and then the outside of it is a little bit uh, like a little velvety and you have the big gopro button in the back or connector in the back and then your camera's going to go here I'm going to show you attaching that right now here is my GoPro if you have a GoPro you know that they have these little feet <laughs> and there is a hole between the feet and that is how you connect your GoPro to all of the accessories that you use to hold it, unless you're just holding it in your hand. You're slipping the feet between the two locations here, slots for them to go, the two little standing feet, and you get it lined up, and you do have to kind of hold it to make sure that the screw is going through the feet on both sides, and then you just tighten it. It's pretty simple, and if you don't tighten it too hard, strongly you can move it get it in on your helmet you can kind of you can kind of position it you can position it down to be facing the ears of the horse a little bit more you can position it level you can position it up but you won't have much of your trail you can see in this clip what it looks like if the camera gets pushed up too high it's capturing the forest canopy which is pretty cool but you're usually going for a point of view where the viewer feels like they're on the horse riding and they're seeing the trail but you do have flexibility and then you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey, it tightens when you turn it to the right and it loosens up when you turn it to the left. And you could turn it on and start filming and when you're on your horse, you know, take your helmet off and look at the screens because you have two screens. You have the lens side and you have the visual of what the lens is seeing on the back so you can see that and uh, you can see what it looks like and you kind of can estimate here when you have it level what it's going to be picking up and you know you know when you put it on your head it's going to be pretty much level and just guesstimate gopro has the wide angle setting that it's always capturing a lot of footage which is really great uh, if you have friends riding with you and you turn your head this way you're going to film this way or if it's great scenery that way great scenery that way oh there's a couple horses over there uh you can um capture that or otherwise just your solo ride on your horse the second accessory i wanted to show you is the chesty it's a chest mount uh, it you can see it's like a little bit of a harness you're going to put your arms through it put it over your head and the uh, camera is going to be here on your chest pretty easy to get it on as long as you can figure out unlike me which way it goes on I, I haven't used it a lot so um here that's it I have used it a couple times you can can tighten it here on both sides so you will get it to be tight and it also has the same connector that the helmet does it comes with the screw it has the slots for the two feet the camera goes right here 
So there will be times, there may be times when you want your camera filming and you want it here positioned on your chest and you want to get forward point of view footage and you want your hands free. This is an example of the chest mount and the footage that I was able to get one evening when I was calling the horses in from the pasture. It turned out really cool so you can see what you can get with the chest mount and your GoPro. Linking below all the information on these two accessories as well as the GoPro camera. My model is the GoPro Hero 9. GoPro currently has 10 and 11 out, so there's a couple new iterations of the camera. And so if you're looking for a GoPro for the first time and you don't have one, you may want to consider getting one of the newer models. So all that's going to be linked below. I'm linking above a video that you can go to next. It's a comparison that I did between the GoPro and the cam box. The cam box is another helmet mount camera that's out on the market that you can get. They're both really good. They provide similar point of view footage for when you're on your horse or when you're wearing your helmet. I like both of them for different reasons. I did a comparison. I'm linking that above. So go to that video next to get some more detailed information. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.